Well, it was about time we got to De Niro and or Pesci, right? Hey everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. This is a review of the movie Raging Bull, released in 1980, written by Jake LaMotta, Joseph Carter, Peter Savage, directed by Martin Scorsese. This movie is about boxer LaMotta, who moves up in the ranks as a boxer, gains some celebrity, some fame, but as he develops and succeeds and progresses in that arena, he ends up damaging and harming his other life or other part of his life outside of the ring. The movie is presented in black and white in an era when color was already a popular, not only a popular thing, but very common. So this was clearly a choice and I have no negative or positive feelings about this. Only comment on the cinematography is that it is very good, but I think that is a common thing with Martin Scorsese films. I mean, Scorsese delivers another picture that is just as dramatic as it is entertainingly humorous and cinematically or artistically flawed at the same time. I'm trying to figure out a way to describe that, but and I would say artistically flawed is the best for it because it is in a way that does not take away from the movie or necessarily ruin the experience of the film. And from at least what I have seen through my life of watching movies, Scorsese makes a lot of uh, shot choices that are not necessarily new, but maybe not common. And it is clear that Martin Scorsese is a student of film, a student of the industry, of the art, based on how he chooses to direct and a lot of chances he takes with his filmmaking. I will say, however, a lot of decisions in this movie do feel like the story is, or the feelings are more so coming through through the visuals than the actual story. Now, De Niro has never been, in my opinion, the best actor, but I don't think he has ever taken away from a movie or brought down a film, so he more so adds character and personality to a lot of films, and he does the same with this movie. At this point, I don't think he's done hundreds, not literally, hundreds of films about being a gangster or being in a mob or mafia, so I think here, it shows a different side of his acting or his performance because it does not seem he's stuck with the persona of a mobster as he does in a lot of other movies, even films where he is not even having any connection to the mob or any gang of any sort. The boxing sequences are not the focus of this movie, so when it comes to those fighting sequences, they are, you know, whatever as far as fight sequences go, especially in modern times. So they did not stand out. It is more to focus on the discipline of De Niro's character and how focused he's, the, the character seems to be in the ring opposed to outside of the ring, being paranoid, having a hot temper, hot-headed, and just not really trusting a lot of people. I feel with Raging Bull, I appreciated the shots or the visuals, the cinematography much more than the actual story. Of course, with Scorsese films, I appreciate the dialogue because there's always subtle humor, sometimes dry humor presented in the scenes or in the long drawn out dialogue sequences. Now I did have to take a break with this film. It is two hours long. I do not feel it needs to necessarily be two hours. There are moments that I feel dragged a bit longer than necessary or parts of the story that I feel could have been shortened down and not necessarily dragged out to get the point home. So I did take a break halfway through the film. Again, two hours for what the story that it is. I think the story could maybe be presented in an hour and a half, maybe an hour 40. But again, what kept me intrigued were the shots, shots that I do not see often. And then I felt I could tell a story from that shot alone. Although I do not see myself returning to the movie, overall, it's a decent film. Again, good shots, probably something I would look at in bits as far as if I wanted to study certain um, shots or the way lighting works, certain set designs, and maybe if you are a Scorsese fan, you may appreciate this movie a bit more than myself. Anyway, that's all I have for Raging Bull, part of this Marty Marathon I have going on leading up to Killers of the Flower Moon. Have you taken the chance to see this movie? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, y'all take care of each other. Be sure to check up on one another. Make sure you check up on yourself, and remember, potential has no limits.